there's the cyber demon right on top of that pyramid. But there's also plenty of revenants around, and I hear a spider mama. What's up everybody and welcome to this cyberpunk adventure. This is Doom, this is Augur Zenith, and this is map 10, Photon Geyser by Chris Moyer. Alright, Photon Geyser, well that's a name, uh, uh, it can mean a lot of things, but I guess it's something scientific. Um, I already hear a cyber demon and uh, this street, well, it looks like it was... Uh, Assaulted by something or another. I already saw a large office building in that direction. I'm sure that's what we'll go exploring next. Uh, this is just spewing out uh, something toxic, something hot. Oh, hello. It's opened up. Little warehouse, little... Uh, your secret here with a teleporter. Uh, let's see your lead, so. And it goes back straight to the beginning. Okay. Yeah, this car is crashed too. A little chain gun here. Um, this is a interesting looking structure. Echo Demon coming out to play. I'll race you, I'll race you. No, I won. There's a supercharge here, let's grab it. I was thinking it was going to be trapped, but uh, I guess it wasn't. Are there any other enemies out here? Yeah, there's a couple. Um, actually with 40 armor left, I might as well grab this. Got a feeling that uh, I'm going to be hit again. Like 40 is usually the, uh, the number that you want to be at when you... Uh, downgrade your when you downgrade your green your blo blue armor your green one and I am taking a lot of punishment from these uh, thing gunners here oh, that opened up impressive looking uh, hall here lobby of a uh, Sure, a big office building. Can we hit the barrels? Yeah, we can. Should have probably done that on the first shot rather than the third, but uh, it got the job done. Now, I don't like that I already wasted my supercharge. But yeah, you can see the increased damage you take from uh, the green armor when compared to the blue one. Of course, uh, green is a lot better than no armor. But when you're fighting chain gunners, well, they can do a lot of damage per second. And these armor bonuses, they'll stack up whatever armor you already have. That's why... Uh, GZ Doom uh, actually shows you which armor you have uh, in the bottom left there. It's uh, a very handy icon to have that wasn't in uh, vanilla or original Doom 2. In GZ Doom, it solves a lot of the uh, Issues Doom 2 has, but this is just a uh, quality of life improvement, really. Of course, I am playing with next to no uh, info bar. It is here if you want to see it. And I did uh, change it for Augustine, it is what, but uh, I don't know, I 
kind of like playing like this with as much on the screen as possible. I don't have a clue how much ammo I have for each weapon, but uh, we do have a, a fair amount of plasma. Uh, which we might need if we ever encounter that cyber demon. Ah, there's a teleporter here. Let's deal with the chain gunners first. As we're gifted with a rocket launcher and uh, well, these revenants can't see me yet. This uh, type of glass isn't breakable. It's the clear one it is. Of course monsters can't. can't they, they don't really seem to be able to see through it either. Okay. Well, I don't mind re-upgrading to a blue armor, but uh, this leads back to this area. We've already been here. So, let's take this elevator up. See where that takes us. This is a large office building, so, uh, well, you know, are you gonna go up, up, and up? Or are you gonna find something evil down in the basement? Yeah, you don't want to hide your evil practices at the street level. We're uh, seeing the streets from down here. It's a bit dark here. I hope you are able to see what's going on here as I uh, traverse these boxes back to uh, another rooftop. Now, obviously, that's being set in the uh, in the future in a cyberpunk setting. It's uh, it's very much a uh, you know streets and uh, subway stations and other real life locations that are not specifically. Uh, I mean, they're recognizable. They're not supposed to be realistic. The uh, futuristic aspect of it means that uh, they can be whatever you want. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be up here or where I am going currently. Um, we might need to go there, yeah. That works. And this opens up. No, nope, I think that just leads back. Yeah, we. Uh, that's where we came from. This doesn't open. Okay, and now I'm running around like a headless chicken again. As I do not know where I am supposed to go. Is this an air vent I need to get into? Can't get down there. I think I'm officially lost. Oh, maybe this was just a secret area and I wasn't supposed to go here in the first place. It's possible. That just brings that down. Okay, so let's go here. Yeah, we can definitely go here. You know, one of the clues in game designs. If you find enemies, then you're probably heading in the right direction. Speaking of lessons you can learn from game design, if you find a secret that uh, yeah, it usually implies that there's a, a dead end. Like, you got what you came for, and now you can return. I just didn't expect to go back down to street level after uh, traversing all these rooftops. This is a, a very large area to fight uh, these kinds of monsters, but you know, sure, whatever. 
not sure if this was opened up for, but uh, this is where the enemies are, and we haven't been here yet, so... Uh, I'd like to look for this, it's a little bit ominous. It's a lot of uh, classic Doom Doom textures here as well. In fact, most of these are classic Doom Doom textures. Which I'm kind of surprised by, because most of the textures in this world aren't. This looks like a waiting area for uh, a more important area. Oh. We're immediately locked in. Cacko Demon spawns behind us. And two Mankibai stand in our way. Yeah, and I dodged right into those. And we are gifted a plasma gun, which means that we're probably going to be needing a plasma gun. Or oh, the mappers is very nice to us. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we are about halfway through the level, found two of the six secrets. So those came back down. More two Doom 2 textures here. At least some of them. I do find the pace of this level to be uh, a little bit more relaxed. You no, know, uh, I say as I walk straight into a trap. But it wasn't the biggest of traps. Came out of nowhere. Okay. We are actually out of shotgun ammo. Which is a surprise, but uh, I have my 600 plasma. I should really put it to some good use. I always think oh, I'll grab it when I need it, but then on a map like this, where you're uh, all spoon fed monsters. You never really feel like you need it, especially when you're fighting hit scanners and the like. Uh, apparently I can't get out here. Okay, okay. And there's Spectre still here. Well, there is a supercharge here, so I do feel like you can get out here in some way. But it might just be a secret. And we just found it. Intuition. Well, the secrets on this map are uh, pretty good. Kind of bumped about it about the last map. Three secrets. Didn't find any. Went looking for it. Didn't find any. Of course, it's in the, a completionist playthrough. Which is a blind playthrough. Which is why some of these things are gonna, you know, surprise me. It's not an analysis or a walkthrough of how you should be able to beat this map. But then I don't find Orbacy to be... I find it to have a, a good amount of challenge, but not overly so. This isn't the kind of... Uh, Ooh, would you look at that view? Yeah, this is the reason why we play this world. It is beautiful. Okay. But as I said, it's not the most difficult. Um, yeah, we did die twice so far at a uh, lot of violence, but uh, you know, in 10 maps, that's not too bad. Okay. 
this is some nice run and gun doom 2 action. Some surprises, some traps, but some uh, levels were obviously more challenging than the others. And we're only halfway through this world, so who knows what this world has in store for us in terms of difficulty and traps. There's a BFG here. And we want it because we do not have the BFG yet. I'm not sure if we missed it somewhere in a secret. It's very possible that we might have had. I'm a bit worried that the moment we get it, that Cyber Demon is going to spawn in. One of the interesting things about the Cyber Demon is that uh, it is. As a monster in Doom, it is not. This comes down. Oh, there's an arch file here. And it changed targets as I. Holy arch file shit, Batman. Holy arch file shit. And we are back. We take our ventures upon this little art file that uh, for some reason survived three BFG shots. Blue armor here as well, which is nice. We're full on plasma, we have BFG. Let's go do this. Um, there's the cyber demon right on top of that pyramid. But there's also plenty of revenants around, and I hear a spider mama. The spider mama being the other monster that you uh, can hear wherever it wakes up. Oh, and there it is. Get out of my way, Baron. Let's see if we can one hit it with the BFG. Not today. And there's another one all the way on the back. Okay, they both went down in two, thanks to some straggler enemies around. Okay, let's uh, save our plasma ammo and go for some rocket kills. And this map did go from uh, a casual run and gun to very slaughtery. I say as I am dodging this Arachnogron fire and these Cyber Demon rockets. And dealing with the last enemies on the ground here, giving myself some room to dodge. Of course there's a lot of lost souls still floating about. Not really a, a threat damage wise, but uh, yeah. Fly in front of your rocket launcher or uh, prevent you from dodging at the right time and suddenly a harmless little soul that does 5 to 10 damage or so, maybe 15 if he's lucky, goes to 100. Okay, that's one Arachnid one down. Without a crosshair I can't really look straight. Luckily we uh, can climb this. Oh, and there is a paint elemental. Which I couldn't see because of its uh, flatness high in the sky. Alright. I did not want to pick that up. And invisibility against a cyber demon is a very bad time. We're out of uh, we're out of shotgun shells again. There's still 
think there's still a, a, a beta elemental. That was the uh, the one that was high disguise. It stemmed a lot of metal also at, at the cyber demon. Let's go kill this bad boy now that her invisibility has worn out. And I see the level exit. Of course, this is not a chicken stream, so. We are trying to get 100% kills as this pyramid is quite difficult to navigate. And down he goes. Now there's plenty of plasma armor around, so uh, let's load up on it before we proceed to the next one. Because, you know, they put it here for a reason. Um, this says exit. There's an exit here. Okay, okay. Uh, I am missing some of the keys. I thought it was going to be near the end of the level, but uh, no, there's only six more enemies remaining. Oh, here's the red key. Here's the red drawer. The red button. And here's the blue one. I guess... Does this damage me? Yeah, uh, yeah that's uh, that's harmful floor. And then, then you gotta wonder, what does this button do? Okay. Gives us even more plasma ammo. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um. Maybe it just opened the exit. Is that it? Okay, so I guess this comes down uh, with a speck to greet us. And here is our car, and this is the end of the level. That was Photon Geyser, map 10 of Augur Zenith by Chris Moyer. And I'll see you for part 11. Bye bye.